So can you give me your name again and your hometown and your job position? Sure, uh, uh, Jesse Galvan, Jesse Galvan. Galvan, it's a long story, we won't go into it. Um, but I'm originally from San Antonio, Texas. Um, an army brat, my dad uh, did the army thing for 26 years. I followed in his footsteps, so I too am a vagabond. But we now call Santa Fe, New Mexico uh, home. And in Santa Fe, after retiring from the Army after 30 years, I now serve as the Director of the Protective Force Operations and Training for the Los Alamos National Laboratory. Some of the more senior positions that I held is I commanded a brigade of uh, 2,500 soldiers at Fort uh, Polk, Louisiana, uh, the lovely Fort Polk, a little hot and sticky down there. Uh, had the honor of commanding that organization for about 15 months, inactivated it as a decision by the Army was to inactivate what are called maneuver enhancement brigades went on to be the Assistant Commandant of the United States Army Military Police School where we trained 17,000 law enforcement professionals in the, in the military, the Army and the military, a year. And then my final uh, position in the Army was the Deputy Director of the Defense Forensics Biometrics Agency and Senior Military Advisor to the Director where we, the Army, were responsible for all biometric storage, the storage of biometrics data that we attained from combat operations. And then eventually retired, and now I serve as the director of the Protective Force at Los Alamos. G great question on how my advanced degree um, in adult education uh, assisted me. Um, in the military, there's the stereotype that it's, you know, very directive, very authoritative. But again, as you ascend the ranks, you, you use different leadership styles. Um, and, and much like adult education and adult learning, people learn differently. Um, I explained this yesterday that I'm a visual learner. And thank goodness, because the military is very visual. You have maps and graphs and, and you get to see things of that nature. Um, so uh, the, the advanced degree in adult education helped me understand how other people think and really drove purpose on what, why people do want to learn as adults. And so it helped me as a leader understand how people learn, uh, how people understand, how people accept directives, orders, um, or instructions. And it really opened my aperture as I ascended the ranks of, of the military and, and grew senior and had the honor of leading even larger organizations and having an impact on people's lives. Describe what becoming a K-State alum, alumni fellow means to you. <laughs> Who would have thought, you know, all those years ago, in 1984 you know, to 88, um, as, as I'm walking not, you know, the, the sidewalks of K-State, that I would eventually be sitting here as an old crusty guy, you know, a former colonel in the Army, um, as being recognized for, for, for something that I loved doing, you know, the military. Uh, uh, very, again, I'm a very passionate, emotional person. I love what I've done, my engagements, meeting people, the relationships that I mentioned that, that I built. But, but you know, for, for K-State to recognize my family and me um, for this is just, you know, truly humbling. Thank you, K-State. Thank you. Emaw, go Cats.